What's up guys, getting ready to go do some crappie fishing. Uh, I'm gonna head to Shelbyville Lake. It's a real popular lake for crappie around here. One of the biggest crappie lakes, if you wanna call it, in Illinois. Uh, the temps have been dropping a ton and I'm really, really hoping that the temps are down to about 55 degrees because once, once you hit 55 on this lake in the fall, the jig bite is just on. It's, it's awesome. So no minnows needed. I don't really like to fish with minnows anyway, so I usually wait till about this time of year to start going after crappie. Uh, they usually they'll either go real shallow for a bit, or they'll suspend about halfway down the water column in some deeper water. So we're gonna go try all that. Uh, like I said, it's it's cold out. It's about 35 degrees. Got my all my winter gear on. Kind of came out of nowhere when it was 80 about two weeks ago. So yeah, let's get out there. Uh, if you want to see how I crappie fish or how I rig my stuff. Check the link in the description. I made a video just recently that shows you how I, like, how I do my jig setups and everything. So I'm gonna leave that out today. I'm just gonna fish. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link, check it out, and let's go. This whole north end of this lake fills up with bait once the temp drops and the crappie just start feeding up like crazy. So that's a that's a beautiful water temp. So we're gonna shoot to our first spot. I fish at this point like right in the beginning of my trips every time. Usually I can pull a few keepers and we'll see if everything goes according to plan. Man, he thumped it. Let's see if we can get her in here. That's a keeper for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I've been fishing a little too shallow, I think. I came out, remember I told you guys I was gonna try out shallow first. So what I did was I came out and I started fishing about halfway down the water column, closer, closer to 10 feet of water. Here, let me fix my camera for you guys and get my buff out of my mouth so you can hear me. So, thumped it hard. That's the kind of bite. I've been getting short strikes up shallow. I'm gonna get some pliers out. It's about 11 inches, which is perfect eating size. My fancy live well. Okay. Two hours later.
There we go. There's another keeper. Smoked it. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Let's go measure him. Looks like it's right about 10, maybe nine, three quarters. They've been, this lake has a lot of stunted fish in it, so they want you to keep a lot of the smaller ones. He is 10 on the dot, so we're gonna keep him. You can keep 10 over 10 and five under 10, and they want you to keep that five under 10 to weed out the smaller fish that are competing for food and taking food away from the big ones. So, meet your new friend. All right guys, so we're back at the ramp. I've got three keepers. I've got one that's 10, one that's 11, and one that's about nine and three quarters. And that last one I caught, I had the GoPro off, I had to charge it. I caught it right off the end of the boat dock. So when in doubt, at the end of the day, don't be afraid to try the boat ramp, the rocks by the boat ramp, or the actual dock itself fish will hang around these things and the fish that live around them are not scared of boats at all. There's another one. It's a bass. You can have a boat that just pulled out and fish will still bite out from under the dock. It's kind of weird but let's see if I can't pick up just two or three more just enough so it's worth actually taking them home and cleaning them. Alright so I'm back for a little update. Today kind of sucked, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I fished out deep, I fished shallow, I fished the middle, middle of the water column. I tried every color of jig in my box, I tried different weights and colors of jig heads, and I covered a whole lot of water, and I only ended up with three keepers. I just let them go, because it's not really worth the time and effort to clean three fish. But yeah, so that's fishing. All the conditions were perfect, usual patterns were not there at all, but I think it's just because we've had a really, really, we've had a long, drawn out summer, and it was, I mean, just a week, week ago, it was in the 70s on a daily basis, the nighttime temps weren't that low, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's 30 degrees for three or four days straight, or in the 30s, so that really jacks things up. You'd think it would help, but if it's a little more gradual, I think the fish respond to it a little bit better. But, see, I'm gonna head home and warm up or something. It sucks out here. A little windy, a little cold, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, even though I didn't catch anything. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. I'm gonna keep posting as many videos as I can. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys later.